Notice anything odd about this guitar? How about now? See how the strings spread across the guitar's face? Jeff Babbitts, who is as much a craftsman as he is a musician, calls this his string anchor system. His guitar is one of two I'm going to show you that are breaking the molds of traditional acoustic guitar design. <laughs> Do you remember the first time you built a prototype like this and showed it to someone else? Was that like a fear-inducing um, moment? It, uh, no, not necessarily because yeah, people kind of wondered about the appearance and they thought it was a gimmick, but usually when they played it, mm -hmm. they understood right away. Um, and what you get with this is you get more volume, more, more sustain in particular. By volume, Babbitts, of course, means how loud the guitar is. But that isn't just a function of how hard you play. It has to do with the physics of the guitar itself. Here's how it works. Strumming a guitar sends energy from the strings into the body of the instrument, especially the top, which is also called the soundboard. Ideally, the soundboard is as light and stiff as possible, so it most efficiently transfers the energy from our finger to the string into the air and not into the materials of the guitar itself. For designers like Babbitts, finding the perfect balance of stiffness and lightness has long been a challenge. In some cases, it can come down to the tiniest shaving of the braces supporting the top. And that can be the difference between a great and a mediocre guitar. If you make it too light, the guitar will self-destruct. So many times you overbuild the guitar and it dampens the sound and it dampens the vibration of the top. Mm -hmm. So if it's too heavy, uh, it'll be a very muted tone. Babbitts says his unconventional design spreads the tension in the strings across the soundboard. The analogy is a little bit like a drum head. That if you have a drum head without any tension on it and you tap it, you get very little sound. But when you tighten it up and you tap it, it becomes alive acoustically and that's really what happens yeah. here as well. Big, big, open, full sound. Yeah, yeah. Other designers are taking a completely different approach to lightening the top of a guitar, turning away from wood altogether. These are graphite. Hawaii-based guitar maker John A. Decker Jr., a one-time physicist and aeronautical engineer, invented all graphite acoustic guitars. The tops are thin and need no internal braces. They're weatherproof to boot. Now, as a longtime guitar player, I still prefer my old style Loudon. But it's clear that these new instruments, with their mix of novel designs and materials, are finding a place beyond the workshop. <laughs>